I'm Addy or Repulse Fox. Welcome back to my Streamlabs desktop tutorial course. Today we're focusing on a very neat feature in Streamlabs desktop. Shouts out to Streamlabs for sponsoring this video and the whole tutorial course and allowing me to cover this with you. I've turned off my green screen because I've switched layouts here. I want to show you a feature called Collab Cam. Streamlabs desktop has a feature built in so that you can invite other people to your stream or use your other computers, smartphones, whatever to add extra camera angles to your stream without needing a whole lot of extra technology or software or whatever, which is really neat. So I'm gonna demonstrate this just locally here with just me and separate angles, but the fact that you can do this across separate computers and everything is really kind of exciting. So I've switched to, they have in Streamlabs Ultra in the theme marketplace, they have a bunch of collab cam ready themes. You can obviously use whatever theme you want or manage it however you'd like, but they do have some collab cam ready ones where they have like, layouts for a bunch of extra guests. This one has a three guest and a one guest mode. So I'm going to add some sources this way. So to start, obviously I'm here in my webcam in the bottom frame and we are going to add a new source. Under video and audio, we're gonna choose collab cam and add source. Now this is gonna give you some information. All you need to do is copy this join link and send it to someone and then they can join. It's that easy, just in their browser. Now you actually get to choose which source for audio and video gets sent back to them so that they can see you while you're seeing them, which is a big problem when doing collab streams. Like if you try to join a Discord call or a, a Zoom call or something, your webcam's already occupied in your streaming program. So you can't add it to both. Whereas this gives you the option to then mirror it out to your call so that they can see you. You can also share a secondary video source from your scene. So that, like right now I don't have a whole lot of anything, but like recent follower alert. You can share a secondary video source to them too so that they can see stuff going on in your stream. And if you are co-streaming with someone, you can basically just share extra sources back and forth each other to each other's streams, which is really powerful. By default, Streamlabs Desktop lets you have one guest in Collab Cam at a time. However, with Streamlabs Ultra, you can go up to 11 guests, which would be really hard to juggle, but would be really amusing to see for like really big podcasts or reaction streams or something. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this link. Obviously you can generate a new one every time you invite someone or if you show it on video like I have here and then you send it to someone. Except I'm not gonna send it to someone. In this instance, I'm actually gonna open it up on another computer and add a secondary source. So over here on my other computer, it just opens up in the browser. I'm doing this on Mac, it works on whatever. And I can just go ahead and, oh my. And of course we get the infinite loop going, but you can see here, I can see my webcam from the primary computer. And I got this camera going. If I wanna do like a music stream or second camera angle, I can then share that back. And it pulls up your stream chat for that person to see. So that way, if you have a guest come on your stream, they don't even have to load your stream separately. They can just see the chat right there. And going beyond that, you can also screen share from this computer. You have the camera view. You can change their volume for their audio being added to your stream, which is wonderful. And then you get to, you get to position it, you get to control where it goes. And I'm gonna put it behind the overlay. And then you get to control when they're shown on stream. So like if you're introducing someone, you don't have to show them yet. And then when they're ready to go on, then you then show, you it. show it. And then you, hear, and then you it. hear it. And then you hide it. That's, That's pretty, pretty cool. cool. And it, and automatically, it automatically, which is causing audio issues, but it automatically loops their audio back to you so that you can hear them while it's also being sent to your stream. It takes care of all of that for you. Now I'm going to turn down their volume and I'm gonna show them on stream. I am not seeing the screen capture, but that may be because I did not restart Firefox like it wanted. <laughs> but I do wanna showcase that. So there we go. Now we have an additional source added now that I've restarted my browser that I can then manage in my collab cam. So if I pull up that source, I now have the webcam, but I also have their screen. And so I will need to add a new collab cam source for that. So if I add that, Collab cam, add source, add new source instead, screen share. Now I can add this one, show it on stream. 
And now I have that available as well, which is really cool. So then if we come over here to our three guest one, for example, we can add our collab cam sources, add, add, and then I can resize these to fit in my layout. This is a really powerful tool that other streaming programs that cost money end up like charging you for and is honestly a nightmare to figure out like regardless of what program you're using. And Streamlabs honestly makes it really seamless. And as I said, you can actually share different elements of your stream back and forth this way. Because when I joined the invite, it actually showed, hey, do you want to join in your browser or with Streamlabs itself? Which is really, like, there's a ton of power here. This is a really neat feature that can allow you to make podcasts, uh, co-streams. You can just pop into someone's stream real quick and say hi or do an interview. You can screen share. You can run an entire game tournament this way. Like, there is a lot of possibility here with this feature built in. And like I said, you get one guest free with Streamlabs Desktop, and then you do need Streamlabs Ultra for up to 11 which is a lot. You do to get a notification down here at the bottom when a guest has joined. That way you're not missing it. Pretty cool stuff. Obviously, once you've invited people, you need to generate new links and hide that so that you can't just have randoms joining because that could cause some terms of service conflicts for you on your stream. But, you know, that's all right. Super secret hacky bonus tip. You can actually get a free second camera angle with your phone using collab cam. If you send the invite link to yourself, say in a private Discord channel or something like that, open it on your phone in your phone's browser, then you can use collab cam on your phone. You're able to choose between the front and rear camera, your iPhone microphone or no audio can be selected in the collab cam source if you like. And then you have a wireless extra bonus camera for additional camera angles for walking around and showing stuff or maybe doing a separate vloggy angle or whatever. And you can just kind of have this available during your stream and switch to it as you need. It is a pretty cool little trick that I've used in a lot of my streams at this point. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it helpful. This is a really powerful feature that makes streaming so much easier that is light years ahead of most other streaming solutions. Let me know your questions in the comments below. Remember to be kind. Rewind. Thank <laughs> you.